You are now entering the Grow Moringa Collective, an eco-friendly community centered around a common interest, growing Moringa. Connect with other like-minded individuals in person and online as a member of the Grow Moringa Collective. Download the members app to your phone for instant access. I now present to you a lesson from the exclusive three-day conference event known as MoringaCon. Team up with us and get the help you need to succeed. All recordings are included with membership. Become a member to fulfill your wildest dreams of working outside in nature, planting seeds and growing trees. Turn your empty property into a thriving food forest. Get the training you need to make extra income from Moringa. Learn more about growing, harvesting, drying, processing, packaging, and selling Moringa trees into valuable products for extra income. Simplify your growing operation and become a profitable Moringa grower. If you'd like to learn more about the Moringa tree industry without beating around the bush, you're in the right place. Be sure to join us inside of the Grow Moringa Collective members area for full access to all the answers you need. Don't miss MoringaCon 25 coming up in April. Make a real impact on your health and the health of others around you. Be sure to join us inside of the Grow Moringa Collective members area for all of the Moringa answers. Welcome back to MoringaCon 24. Today, we're diving deep into a question that's at the heart of every successful journey. What is your why? Because finding your purpose in your Moringa journey isn't just about making money, it's about understanding what drives you, what fuels your passion, and what makes your business meaningful to you and those that are surrounded by you. Let's be real, starting and growing any business comes with challenges. And let's get crystal clear on your why, because those challenges are going to help you step into something bigger once you're clear on your purpose and knowing your why. Whether you want to improve your community's health, create a sustainable income for your family, or simply build something that you can be proud of, your why is going to keep you going in those tough, uncertain times. At Grow Moringa, we're not just a community of Moringa growers and sellers. We're a community of purpose-driven individuals, each on our own unique path working together. And that's the power of the Grow Moringa Collective membership, supporting and mentorship. It's helping to bring your why into reality with a team of people that are around you and supportive and to learn the things that are going to make you an even more successful entrepreneur. We're going to help you get clear on your purpose and help you build a Moringa business that aligns with your values. So where are you now on your journey? Are you ready to dig deeper and discover what truly motivates you? When you find out your why, you unlock the true potential of your Moringa business. Join the Grow Moringa Collective today and gain the clarity, community, and resources that you need to build a Moringa business with purpose. Because when you know your why, success is no longer a question, it's inevitable. I'll see you on the inside. Thanks a lot for watching, liking, and sharing this video. What is your why? Why are you growing Moringa for extra income? Why are you having a Moringa business? When you figure out your why and you answer that first, it's going to help you to determine with, with clarity what product you're going to develop first and, and the one that you're going to sell the most and also the way that you're potentially going to develop your property and how you're going to grow your trees and how you're going to harvest them. Answering that question, what is your why, is going to be really important for you to develop your business. That's going to help you find out which one of the revenue streams you're going to want to take to the moon. Which one will you want to take to the nth degree? You know, something that I've always wanted to take to the moon first and still really, really try and, and really trying to get there is the loose leaf for tea. And I just made a new tea sifting rack that's helping us to produce tea faster than ever before. This has been on my mind a little bit, and I want to make sure that this channel helps you learn more about the Moringa tree. 
but 58% of the people who watch this channel on a regular basis are not even subscribed. Do our collective of hardworking Moringa growers a huge favor before we start today's lesson. If you like the Moringa tree and you'd like to support us in some way, the easiest free way you could help our mission is by hitting the subscribe button below. We're gonna listen to your feedback and share more educational videos. We're gonna find the answers you're craving and need to know. Thanks. So this is helping me to be able to put our product in a box and also now creating wholesale, wholesale boxes. So having a case of say 12 items to be put into stores or for people to purchase, members to purchase that way, they can go to the farmer's market. So let's talk about revenue streams. <clears throat> I can pull up pull up the book, so I'll share a screen as well. Here you can see there's gonna be a couple of moments where I say revenue streams here in this section of the book. Let's see what section is this. Looks like it's near the back, near the near the design section, right? Near like page 275. It goes into the revenue streams. I think there's a image of of the video. If anything, I have a I have a video here that I can also show. I'm gonna just touch on it briefly in the book. Uh, some of which you want to start, say, getting good soil, having good soil in your in your plant nursery is going to be a way to sell sell soil to other people. You know, I have soil here for plants, but even on my Facebook marketplace, I have soil for sale. I have people coming over here and getting 20, 30, 40 dollars worth of soil. That, that pile of soil has already paid for itself two to three times over just because I put, you know, three dollars a pot for for soil. And people come, people come and pick it up, fill the back of their, their, their trunks. Also consider a revenue stream is installing the trees as a service. Some people may want to buy the trees, but for an extra $20, you could say, I'll plant the tree for an extra $20, $30. Uh, um, that's also uh, like an extra, say $50 for delivery and installation is a good way to say for, for $50, you know, Say for this big tree, it's 50 bucks. And for $50, I'll do uh, delivery and installation, which will come with soil fertiliz fertilization and mulch, you know, proper fertilization when planting the tree. So that could help boost your revenue stream. So instead of making a $50 sale on a, on a, on a tree, you're making a $100 sale off of a delivery and an installation. And then even while you're there, you might say, hey, I've got a couple more trees. I could do two or three more for half price. And then you could upsell them for say two to three more trees, even while you're there. Make sure you're bringing extra trees, extra soil, extra fertilizer. I've done this many times to upsell, uh, you know, during a delivery or something. So let's, let's go to the video. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and go to the, to the YouTube channel real quick over here. Hey, do you like what we stand for and our Moringa products? Do you support our mission enough to share these products with others? Would you like to earn extra income from sharing these products with others? Well, that's called affiliate marketing, and we have an affiliate program that can help you make extra income from Moringa today. And when you sign up for free, not only will you get a custom link, but you'll get a custom coupon code in your name. Anyone can use your coupon code for 10% off, and you could even use your own coupon code. Get 10% off your own purchases of Moringa. When you shop with your coupon code, you'll get 10% off, and 10% goes back into your pocket as a commission. That means that you could get up to 20% off your own purchases from Grow Moringa when you use your own coupon code. But wait, there's actually more. When you and others use your coupon code, the conversions keep adding up. It never resets. If you earn $1,000 in sales, you'll get higher payout commissions. Reach 10,000 in sales with your coupon code and the rate bumps up again. Check out this amazing way to make extra revenue from Moringa without having to do any of the hard work. 
That's right. We'll grow it, harvest it, process it, package it, and ship it. Simply share your coupon code with as many people as possible using social media, and you can start earning cash back commissions from those sales right away. See, your coupon code is valid for our Moringa products, the merchandise, equipment, books, and educational membership area. The more you help our reach, teaching others about Local USA Moringa, our agricultural collective, the more that we can help each other. Thanks a lot for signing up to the Grow Moringa affiliate program. Okay, so this is the revenue streams video. I'm going to go more towards the back real quick so that way you can kind of see the actual piece of paper. I zoomed out on it right there. There it is. These are all the revenue streams. Boom. <clears throat> so this is the piece of paper here where we start with soil. From the soil, we're also going to want to have oak mulch and chips. From that, we can begin to sell chips and soil. So like even right now, I have oak mulch for sale on my Facebook marketplace and people come and, and grab truckloads of mulch for 50 bucks, half a load for 30 bucks, you know, to fill up the back of their, their truck with, with oak mulch. So I utilize this, this paper to the max myself, having things, even I have a compost of all of my food scraps out there. Every so often I turn that and that's really rich with worms so then you've got worms and other things that come in that I've added in here, worm castings, composted soil, food scraps. Then as, as, a, as a revenue stream, you want to buy in possibly other fertilizers like organic rock dust. You know, like I have pallets of rock dust that I sell back in small packages. Perlite, I buy in large cases and sell back in small bags. Peat moss, I don't really use as much anymore. We've learned that peat moss doesn't really is is not as good with moringa. But when you're buying in moringa seeds by like say the case or the sack or the thousands, <clears throat> you're able to break that down into smaller packages to then, um, you know, make a return. You can also get an oil machine like I have and press those seeds to make oil. That oil. Uh, is going to be able to use for the skin, the hair, the nails, cuts and bruises. You can also use it for cooking. So there's recipes. And then, 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 then you've got a whole gambit of things that are coming from this just landscape nursery business that turns into having seeds and oil and a cosmetic cosmetic products. The trees that and the seeds that you've planted are now starting to have drumsticks. So that even you're making your own oil, then you're making your own seeds, then, then, um, then your trees themselves, they're starting to make fertilizer for other plants. They're starting to make teas and powders and supplements. Those trees are starting to make cuttings and other trees. So those trees also produce seeds that can be used at, uh, as a horseradish, as a spice. We talked about how each one of the, the trees from the seed can be sold in pots, like a five gallon or a three gallon or a seven gallon. Then, then there's also those trees that are making flowers. I sell the flowers in baggies by themselves. <clears throat> the, the seeds from the trees actually can be separated. Uh, there's a wing that can be separated that can be made into paper. There's an industry for pretty much every part of the Moringa tree for people, pets, and plants. There's the shells, which is protein. When you make the oil, there's a cake that comes off of it. They call that the seed cake. That's like a fertilizer right here, seed cake fertilizer. That's really good for the plants and the animals. Um, but there's really lots and lots of things that you can do, uh, especially with the plant food or the, the, the animal food. And then you've got chickens, goats, rabbits, horses, pigs, and all of those animals that are now buying your product because you're making it into a desirable product. And what we're doing is we're educating the people on all the different ways that you can use Moringa. And um, <clears throat> and so now that you kind of know, you know, the the different the different uh, revenue streams, you just kind of have to pick your lane and pick out what you want to do. For me, 
my passion was the tea. Then I got into the fertilizer. Now I'm really getting into the animal food. Very soon, I'm going to get into the gas, methane gas, Moringa methane gas. Then I'm going to get into the biodiesel, the making of the actual gasoline off of the oil, turning my diesel van into a Moringa mobile, right? That would be cool. That would be awesome. Um, let's see. Let's see what else is on the agenda for this meeting here. As we're talking about my why, you figure out your why. Is it for, is it for say, fast supplements? Like somebody might say, because I want to make my own supplements, my own capsules. That reason why is going to turn into a very successful business. If they focused on making just capsules every single day, their business would be very, very successful. Where if they spent four to five hours every day just making capsules, they would be a super, super successful business. Where they just maybe buy in high quality powder at a wholesale rate and just sit there maybe with a 400 capsule machine. I wouldn't go any smaller than a 400. Now that I'm at the 400, I'm like, okay, what took me so long to get there? Because now that I'm there, I look at the hundred and I'm just like, oh man, I don't have time for the hundred anymore, but the 400 makes it definitely worth it. Okay. Okay. So you guys are here and we'll go to the members area here, our business plan is in the shared members drive. So if we go to the shared members drive, check out our business plan here. <clears throat> we have a one pager and we have a graphic. Let's see, I think this is the graphic. Okay, this is the official one. All right, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for us. And our business plan has culminated in the last three years when we established this collective to purchase this two and a half acre property it was our main, main business goal for a while. Once we got to here, now our next goal is to develop this land and then to develop other properties. So every year we would like to develop several properties, whether, whether we buy a property or we partner and purchase um, and partner with a property, maybe buying a portion of someone's property, that cash could go towards the development of the property. And while the mortgage is getting paid, that member is then helping to also work the land and develop the, the, the property to where it can turn turn revenue like this property has been able to start turn revenue this year. And so this business plan talks about how we planned on on purchasing this property here for 175. Now we've gotten all that money in and all the closing costs and everything. We're down to 155 uh, remaining. In the last couple of years, we've been able to, um, you know, make between $70,000 and $138,000 in revenue. This is gross revenue, and that's between memberships and products. Our, our collective business is, is based on the, the recurring revenue of the memberships. You know, a portion of the revenue that we make is from recurring revenue from memberships. And that helps to hire workers, hire members, train, come out with the certifications and also pay for labor and other things that are that are entailed with like say systems and upgrading websites and going with uh, um, also connecting the members and bringing members together for special events. And so this this business model talks about how 
we have two forms of revenue, mostly between, not just two, we have about six, but the top two are memberships and products. Then we also have merchandise, tools, equipment, uh, real estate. Those are some of the other revenue streams that we make as, as a collective. This business uh, plan also goes and talks about the industry and other revenue streams throughout the industry. And let's see, I wanted to see, I want to get to a certain part here where you can see some of the revenue streams. Of course, it goes through the products where we have trees and drumsticks and leaves, fertilizer, extract, tuber, spice, flowers. We also have supplies, equipment, tools, and other things that we can sell like merchandise and even our CRM that we sell as a service uh, called Growth OS. So for a monthly charge, we actually sell a customer relations management system. It's a tool that you can use to house all of your contacts, emails, to send out newsletters. It's where you have and can edit your website and lander pages and funnels, advertisements. And then we're going to get into the revenue stream down here as we get into the finances, some of the um, monthly operating costs associated with running this business are here, as well as an analysis, a market analysis. Who are we selling to? who are our main buyers and you as a Moringa business are also very, should be very interested to know who is buying Moringa, but also who is interested in learning about Moringa like yourself is the market of say, who's going to essentially be growing it and selling it as well. Who are these people? Moringa total demand is going off the charts over $20 billion a year industry by 2030. Right now, here we are at about nine, cruising at about 10 to 12. Right now, maybe at about 15 billion, going up to about 20 billion here pretty soon. That means that there's $20 billion worth of Moringa being sold around the world. That means if I sell $100 off of my shelf, that's $100 that goes towards that pot. Right now, there's $20 billion worth of Moringa being sold. The demand is massive. <clears throat> And let's see if we can show you a quick chart before we go of the revenue streams. Let's see, what are we talking about here in this section here? This is advertising and promotion, some of the facets and channels that we use to market and advertise our product, some of the strategy and implementation that we plan on utilizing for the funds that we've raised here on this property. I might have already passed it. This looks like we're coming back down to the end here. Yeah, I think it's actually towards the top. Let's see. Might have passed the little graph that I was looking for. There was one of the graphs. There was another graph. Is that graph? I thought there was another graph. Revenue stream graph. Mm, that might be on the uh, this this one here. Maybe not the one pager, but the graphics one. Yeah, the graphics one. Here we go. There you go. This is uh, our revenue, we can, which you can see. We're working towards uh, making over 120000 a year, uh, potentially by 2024, 2025, reaching the two hundred and fifty to $500,000 mark a year which would mean we would need to be about $50,000 a month in sales to $100,000 a month in sales. And that those sales would come from all of our members. So all of our members, essentially, we pool all of our sales together with the website. And we, we essentially, we're getting all of our products very similarly in the same packaging. So that way we can distribute amongst buyers across the country. We have grower, producer, distributors that are able to put their inventory essentially on record. It's certified by the collective. They've gone through certifications to get it to be able to, to be able to ship it out the door to you, to buyers. 
so, some of the some of the other uh, revenue streams that come from Moringa not only could be from the farmer's market, your online store, but you could also um, start selling to other stores wholesale. Some of the expenses, of course, you may have are utilities and rent, vehicles, advertising. You'll be purchasing lots of supplies and boxes. Um, there's a few licenses and certifications that you'll need to keep up with, of course, with having a business and possibly learning more about Moringa. We have other programs <clears throat> in the members area for you to take if you want to get a certification on loose leaf or a certification on powder. Um, and then also we have another section that we're building up, Moringa University, which is going to be an intensive class about a six a six month course, which was going to start in April, and uh, that is going to be a um, it's a lead course, and it'll be one weekend a month for about six months. One of the things that we've been doing <clears throat> with the funds that we raised is to make sure that we've allocated it correctly across the across the um, expense sheet that we have here. Not only does it go towards, say, like fixing up the road, we did a little bit. Uh, we put a little bit into the greenhouse. Uh, we put a little bit into renovating the store as well as upgrading the shed and the cabin. And we even were able to rent a, uh, a bobcat and we were able to um, purchase more seeds and biostimulant and packaging and bottles and things like that. Well, we've been able to really hone in today on what is our why. For me, it's tea and loose leaf. Somebody here might say that they want to do it for the pe uh, the the pets. You know, they they want to grow moringa for animals, or they want to grow moringa for fertilizer. And in that case, you can grow moringa intensively, intensively, very, very close together, even upwards of a million Moringa trees on one acre, even. So consider that on a very intensive method, if you're going to be growing it for fertilizer or for pets, that you could be growing it much more at an industrial level, even a million trees an acre, it blows my mind too. Because a standard say orchard, where the trees are at about 10 feet apart, you get about 400 trees. If they're about 20 feet apart in rows and the rows are 10 feet apart, you can get about 300 trees. 250 to 300 trees is, is a good amount for an orchard. And then imagine getting about um, a pound off of that every time you harvest. And if you're harvesting that tree, say in the summertime, six times, you could get six to 10 pounds off of that one tree through the course of the summer, possibly even 20 pounds because the beginning of the summer will be small and slow, but by the end of the summer, that tree might be pumping out, you know, two to three to four times as much. So you could get 10 to 20 pounds off of one tree by the end of the summer. And that could translate into, uh, let's say, if we have, um, say, if you're doing wholesale, or let's just say you're doing retail and you're selling them for $50 a pound, right? $50 a pound times, say, 20 pounds. That one tree is making $1,000 a year. That's usually about what I say, is one tree makes about $1,000 a year. One mature tree. So one tree after about a year to two years old can make about a thousand dollars a year. So you if you had four, you know, two two hundred and fifty to three hundred trees, you could make about um what is that, three hundred thousand? You know, that's retail. Of course, there's lots of expenses to that, and that's only off of one acre. Right. So let's just say. A thousand times three hundred, yeah, right, yeah, three hundred thousand. You know, that's a hypothetical gross number that doesn't include, you know, re, uh, labor and expenses and anything like that. But in an ideal world, world, yeah, that's that's about right. 
that's where we're getting to. We're getting to about that point right now where we're going into our second year where each tree is going to be producing that probably by next year. You know, we probably did about half that this year. So about 150 off of, and we only have a half acre, but I've been able to harvest quite a bit from all the small trees, like the, the 50,000 trees that I had that were really small, boom, that went. And then also the 10,000 in pots, boom, that was able to go. And then also the 3,000 in the greenhouse, boom, was able to take that. Plus also the several hundred that are over there by the hedge, boom, was able to grab that. Plus the the promenade that I have over here with the thousands of trees over there that are not even included in the orchard, boom, was able to grab those. So, you know, the half acre that's about two years now has been able to just this year really feel like, wow, we actually have have some work where we were going out there every day this this past summer. It was great. And we've been building up the revenue streams, pots, trees, seeds. And still, still really focused on, on the same why. For me, double tripling down on the loose leaf and getting that at a higher rate, at a high, faster and faster rate. If I could just do loose leaf, that would then allow all the other things to happen in the market. So if I focus on four Moringa, four other businesses to get the loose leaf really, really good and really at a high quality for a low price, then we can get that out to more people. Then we can pump out more businesses because they're able to buy, buy in, buy loose leaf and sell loose leaf as teas. Although loose leaf takes up more room, right? I want to do it so that way people can make tea out of it. So like if I was a company and focused on just making powder, that would kind of rule out anybody making tea. But since I'm focusing on loose leaf, Somebody can make tea and somebody can make powder. So I just didn't want to rule out the people that want to make tea because I'm really much more of like the tea person. Matter of fact, I got to go make some tea right now. All right. So let's come on back. Let's come back in like 30 minutes and um, contemplate and think about what is your why. You've had a chance to take a look at our business plan, our mission statement, the cooperative business model essentially working together in a team and our business is building businesses. And we'll come back and we'll talk more about raw laws, regulations, labeling, certifications, exams, heavy metal soil testing, nutritional testing, and things like that. And then that'll be our last one for the day. We'll have one more. Is that right? Or did I kind of did I kind of skip one? I think it's one more. Oh, okay, I see. <clears throat> so was this one re what revenue streams? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did revenue streams, and then I kind of went and talked about the why, and even the business plan. It's all good. We'll, oh, okay. We'll, so we, we'll, we'll so we do have even, one then. Even, if, even if I moved it up, even if I just moved this next one up, it's fine. We'll have another one at five and we'll do, we'll do that one as kind of like our closing. Yeah, no worries. And we'll maybe make much more of that, much more fun, bonding, uh, gathering, talking maybe about how we're going to be gathering more for our, for our monthly meetups, because that's kind of what I'm, uh, I was writing here is, um, creating this uh, this master master class or this university class where the meetups end up being maybe maybe I have a meetup weekend for for meetup where it's just open open for everybody but then I'm also going to be planning a weekend out of the month where that weekend is actually closed off for university students where we actually want to build out the university to where we have a closed class from April to October. And the people that go through that class essential will be certified in all, all things. They'll have a full essential certification. They'll have a grow Moringa certification. So it won't just be like a loose leaf where somebody could do a one-off, right? But we also have an intensive 
six month that we're developing from April to October, which will be one weekend a month from April to October. So it'll be awesome. Eight, it'll be eight hours on a Saturday and a Sunday. It'll be in person. We may be able to offer it as well for live stream. It'll probably be the same price. We'll see about pricing, but for the most part, um, we'll come up with a cost for that Moringa University class. Essentially, that'll be a full certification, a full the full certification suite. Essentially, they'll be certified on all all things. And even when something new comes out and they want to get certified on that, maybe because they took the Grow Moringa certification, there'll be a there'll be a, a discount. If not, they may be able to just get into that certification with no extra charge. Cause normally the one-offs, the one-off certifications may, may come with, with a, with a one-off say like charge for processing the test and, and the questions and for submitting the, the, the videos. But what we may do is during this, this grow Moringa certification is every month they have to submit, you know, video and, and homework. You know, so they'll have a whole month to submit video and homework. So that way, when they come back in, they've done, say, maybe two or three of the certifications and all of the steps. So when they come back, we can check them off and they've essentially gotten certified. And then and then that way, the next class, they have the ability to then go back and do this. So they'll have like six months to say, like, set up a dry room, you know, learn how to powder learn how to sift and, and it'll be like a really intensive, intensive course that we do from start to finish versus kind of like how the members area is right now, where it's just kind of like we get in and we kind of go wherever we'll probably start having like a closed, a closed class that we teach uh, from start to finish. And that could be something that I just do every year, which would be really nice from April to October. Boom. And then I'm off say like from October to April, but for me, it's summer school, which I love. School for me is summer. My very first college semester was a summer school. And I actually enjoyed summer classes because it was really chill and it was hot, too hot to really do much outside. So we would just do summer school. And so that's kind of like what I'm developing here because Moringa is a summer, summer plant. So having summer school would be really great. Six months during the summer having a, having a, 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 you know, a small, small crew of people for those six months. Anyways, dreams and goals. Okay. So I see how I kind of went through and I, I kind of did revenue streams and what is your why for this one. But so for this next one, we can talk, uh, we'll talk more about the cooperative, our cooperative business model and talk more about ownership, how we break down Everything's we'll be, we'll be back in about 20 minutes or so. You are now entering the Grow Moringa Collective, an eco-friendly community centered around a common interest, growing Moringa. Connect with other like-minded individuals in person and online as a member of the Grow Moringa Collective. Download the members app to your phone for instant access. I now present to you a lesson from the exclusive three-day conference event known as MoringaCon. Team up with us and get the help you need to succeed. All recordings are included with membership. Become a member to fulfill your wildest dreams of working outside in nature, planting seeds and growing trees. Turn your empty property into a thriving food forest. Get the training you need to make extra income from Moringa. Learn more about growing, harvesting, drying, processing, packaging, and selling Moringa trees into valuable products for extra income. Simplify your growing operation and become a profitable Moringa grower. If you'd like to learn more about the Moringa tree industry without beating around the bush, you're in the right place. Be sure to join us inside of the Grow Moringa Collective members area for full access to all the answers you need. Don't miss MoringaCon 25 coming up in April. Make a real impact on your health and the health of others around you. Be sure to join us inside of the Grow Moringa Collective members area for all of the Moringa answers.